أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ويوم يعض الظالم على يديه جزاك الله خيرا بارك الله فيكم بارك الله فيكم ما شاء الله تلك آيات الله نتلوها عليك بالحق وما الله يريد ظلما للعالمين الله أكبر Hello Muslim friends of the world Islam first entered southern West Africa including Mauritania through Muslim traders and craftsmen They then founded the congregation Although Sufism and Terkat played a role in the early expansion of Islam This did not take place until the 19th century. The order spread Islam peacefully to the regions. The attitude of antipathy towards colonialism grew the Terkat and increased the Terkat's influence. The two largest Sufi orders in Mauritania are the Tijaniya and Kataria orders. However, small congregations also exist. Like Syed Zilia which is based in Boondite, Tagant, and Goudfaya. Followers of this order are also found in the areas of Tagant, Adrar, Hot Ekcharguwe, and Hot El Garbai. The spread of Islam to the west and south of Africa through a cultural approach. In the past, Mauritanians had traditional beliefs by worshipping the spirits of their ancestors. Through a cultural approach, This belief tradition can shift to the teachings of monotheism. Mauritania, officially the Islamic Republic of Mauritania, is a country in the Maghreb region in West North Africa. This country borders Algeria, Mali, Senegal, and Western Sahara. Officially, 100% of all Mauritanians are Muslim. Although there is a small Christian community, mainly of foreign nationality. There are about 4,500 Roman Catholics of foreign origin. There are also several Jews working in the country. Religious freedom in Mauritania is restricted by the government. The constitution establishes the country as an Islamic republic and Islam is the religion of its citizens and the state. Non-Muslim expatriate residents and some other non-Muslim residents may practice their religion openly, with certain limitations on proselytizing and transmission of religious material. Even though the government prohibited missionary efforts in Mauritania. In general, relations between the Muslim community and non-Muslim communities are peaceful and harmonious. Religion is seen by the government as an important element of national unity, considering the progress of tribes and ethnicities in this country. Mauritanian Muslims are Sunni Muslims belonging to the Maliki sect. Since independence in 1960, Mauritania has been an Islamic republic. The 1985 constitutional charter declared Islam as the state religion, and the applicable law was Sharia law. There is a cabinet-level Department of Culture in Islamic Orientation and the High Islamic Council, consisting of six imams, which, at the request of the government, advises on the appropriateness of Islamic teaching legislation. The judiciary consists of a court system with a legal system that complies with the principles of Sharia, Islamic law. Although almost all Mauritanians are Muslim, levels of religiosity vary. There are liberal, moderate, and jihadist Muslims in this country. In Mauritania, religious and secular NGOs are granted tax exemptions. The government does not require religious groups to register. However, other NGOs, including humanitarian NGOs and NGOs affiliated with religious groups, must register with the Ministry of Home Affairs. Financial donations from Saudi Arabia and other Gulf countries gave rise to several Islamic schools and charitable centers throughout the country. However, most of them were closed by the government in 2003. 
religious education is a mandatory subject in Mauritania. However, the number of hours of religious study in public schools is usually less than in religious schools. Mosques and Quranic schools are usually funded privately by Muslim groups or through other donors. However, salaries for the Imam of the Central Mosque in the capital Nouakchott are provided by the government. Mauritania is a country on the Atlantic coast of Africa. Quoting from Britannica, culturally Mauritania forms a transition zone between the Arab and Amazai, Berber, populations of North Africa and the African people in the southern region known as Sudan. Most of Mauritania covers part of the Sahara Desert that affected much of the African zone in the 1970s. Mauritania borders the Western Sahara to the northwest which was previously Spanish Sahara, to the northeast by Algeria, to the east and southeast by Mali and to the southwest by Senegal. The country's mineral wealth includes large reserves of iron ore, copper, and gypsum, all of which are currently exploited, as well as several oil resources. There are many more things about Mauritania. The following are interesting facts about Mauritania summarized from various sources. The Islamic State of the Former French Colony in the 20th Century Mauritania was a French colony during the first half of the 20th century until it became independent on November 28, 1960. At that time Mauritania was known as the Moorish country after the tribe there. According to the provisions of the Constitution, Islam is the official state religion, but the Republic guarantees freedom of conscience and freedom of religion to everyone. The capital of Mauritania is Nouakchott, located in the southwestern part of the country. Islam developed in Mauritania perfectly when the Almoravids Al dynasty controlled Mauritania in the 11th century and succeeded in conquering the Sudanese kingdom from Ghana. The Almoravids' territory eventually spread throughout North Africa. Ethnic Mauritanians have social strata rules. Ethnic Moors make up more than two-thirds of Mauritania's population. About three-fifths of the Moorish population came from Sudanese Africa and were collectively known as Arn. Arn, sometimes referred to by the outside world as the Black Moors, Approximately one-third of the population consists of four other ethnic groups namely the Tukular who live in the Senegal River Valley. Then there are the Fulani who are spread throughout the south, then the Sanink who inhabit the southernmost tip and the Wolof who live around Rosso on the southwest coast of Mauritania. The Moors, Tukular, and Sanink share a very similar social structure much as these groups have historically been divided into a hierarchy of social classes. At the head of this socio-economic layer were well-born nobles, having servants and slaves. Arabic as an official language. Arabic is the official language of Mauritania. Since the late 1980s Arabic has been the main language of instruction in schools across the country. Meanwhile, Fula, Sonic and Wolof are recognized as national languages. The more spoke is Nia Arabic, a dialect that takes much of its grammar from Arabic and uses Arabic vocabulary and Arabic Amazai words. Most Asniya speakers are also familiar with colloquial Egyptian and Syrian Arabic due to the influence of television and radio transmissions from the Middle East. Other ethnic groups maintain their own languages. The majority of Muslims are Sunni. Almost all Mauritanians are Sunni Muslims. The country's declaration as an Islamic Republic at independence marked the political aspiration that religion could unite a very diverse population under a common confession. Two of the main Sufi, mystical, brotherhoods are the Qatariya and the Terkat Tijaniya which have many adherents throughout the country, but there are slightly different patterns in the distribution of these groups.